So what we're going to do today is some more of the Stormblood epilogue. I need to get through this. I need to get to Shadowbringers. So um, at this point, um, obviously, spoilers, lots of spoilers. So uh, avoid if you don't want to know what's going to happen, obviously. So we're at the point where in the epilogue where we know that Gosetsu and Yotsuyu have been spotted somewhere in Kugane and we are looking for them. So let's get let's just straight into it. Go. I do like this city quite a lot. Oh my god, look at this guy's arm. The Blood Dragoon, level 80. Oof! One day I'll have armor like that. All right, sorry about what we're doing. Excellent timing, my friends. Mistress Alice arrived mere moments ago. All went well at my end. Yodo met with the Imperial officer and willed his way to some new information. It seems the good troops who recently arrived in Kugain came directly from Garlemald. The Imperials based here have been kept in the dark. And that's not all. A contingent of the aforementioned troops are preparing deployment to the Ruby Sea. If I didn't know better, I'd say they picked up Gosetsu's trail. Uh, then your information matches ours. We are quite certain that Gosetsu seeks to cross the mainland. Right, we, oh, okay, so we've got a sequence then. Okay, okay, duty calls. Waves, okay. Oh, no, it's kicking off. Travelers, are you? You may wish to postpone your plans. The Garleans have wow. attacked on the Confederacy. We have no reason to believe they'll turn their attention here. But for your own safety, I suggest you return to Kugane. Oh, Kugane. I pronounced that wrong earlier. I have a feeling we're not going to be doing that. I'm feeling we're probably going to be running straight into it. The Garleans bear no love for the Confederacy. But with Doma lost to them, why would they attack? Unless... Unless Yotsuyu is on that island. Right. While you remain with Soroban, arguing will only delay us. Is that clear? Fine. But you haven't heard the last of this. When are we going to let Alice do something? I mean, I'm sure she does at some point, but come on. What? And you're going to swim there, are you? Oh, we did before. It is the quickest way. And you may rest assured I've been practicing. <laughs> <laughs> that was quite a scream. <laughs> right, duty commenced. Right. I can't remember how to play. The German dub. I, I will listen to that. Oh. Move. There he is. With Jedi robe. We're here to rescue you. Please come with us. You should become a good guy. Oh, he's still injured. Are you all right? I oh, German Alpha no hits different. All right, I'm gonna watch that later. <laughs> okay. Gonna hold ya. Damn it! There's ten seconds of your life. Okay, well, I'll definitely watch that later. All right. Got a boss. Oh, move, move, move! Oh, I can't. Yeah, my red dragon mode. I can't remember what it's called. Oh, I can do it. Right, here we go. Musa mode. Oh, move. Oh, God. Run, 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 run. Oh, run away. Run away. Oh, God. I can't run that far away here. Hide behind the stairs. Oh, I'm just moving away from there. Okay, come on. Keep going. Keep going. Who are we killing now? Oh, it's just these guys. Okay. Probably should have been paying attention a bit more. Screams in every language in the game. All right. Oh, I was reading your message and died. <laughs> All right, so... I didn't do the mechanic. Uh, so I gather them in the Alpha Node and get them. Okay, you're there. Okay, as long as I stay near everyone else, it should be all right. They're right by you, Alpha Node. So I hope you're doing something. Back, all of you. Okay, 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 okay. Oh, what? Who died? Oh, yeah, the circle like mud. Yeah, yeah. It's a dot pool. Right. Bring the. Oh, that makes sense. Okay, okay. Don't usually tank, so come on. There we go. Frames took a big poop then. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Draw them to me. I will finish this. Where are you, Alfred? Oh, you're here. Okay, get them all in the circle. We're getting there. Come on. All right, we can tank one hit. That's fine. Oh, <laughs> got there in the end. These people are my friends. 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 <laughs> Forgive me, but at the risk of souring the mood, I believe you owe us an explanation. You may start by telling us what happened at Doma Castle. That has been the question ever since I saw that cutscene. Of course. 
Twas her kimono which saved her from Hian's blade, believe wow. it or not. Though she survived, she awoke bereft of all her memories, and speaking like a child. Right. A trick, sure. <laughs> I first thought I. And I contemplated cutting her down and being done with it. Yet the Kami saw fit to deliver us from certain death. And together we shall go before our master. He shall be the one to judge. Alright, Alpha No. What's next? Um we should move on. I w it would not do for you, so you to be seen here. Yes. Now, if I know my sister, she will be waiting at the boat at the nearby pier. Let's go and see if I'm right. That's what you told her to wait, Alpha. No? <laughs> you said Sue, thanks to God you're safe. It was all I could do to watch the battle from far. But enough about me. We need to talk about her. Um, greeting? So tell me you've lost your memory. And that's fine, but I want you to know something. I won't be taking my eyes off you. Not for a moment. These people are strange. Are you sure they're your friends? I am. They may behave strangely, but I trust them with my life. You have not to fear. So it's past time we set sail. I, for one, would like to keep Lord Hian waiting without due cause. What's next? All is well. Good. The others are hiding nearby. Let's proceed quietly, if you please. Uh, it's been a while. Lord Hian, I am returned. Save your tears. We have played this scene before, have we not? This time our roles are reversed. Mimi, you know how I feel. Wholly at a loss for words. Though we rejoice at your return, it seems you have brought with you a certain complication. Yes. <laughs> It'll end with her capture or her death. You a friend too. <laughs> <laughs> oh God. <laughs> I mean, it doesn't look like there's a lot going on behind the eyes, let's be honest. Thank you for delivering Gutsetsu back to us in one piece. We are lucky indeed to have friends who would journey to the other side of the world to help us. And repeatedly at that, Captain Shifuya is nowhere to be found. The mystery music is playing. Something that's gone down. For now, we have taken Yutsu to a private chamber and assigned another to watch over her, my lord. But I find it passing strange that the captain should leave his post with nary a word. Where's our little captain gone? He was headed for the northern entrance when I saw him last. I was going to invite him to train with us, but he didn't dare say the sentry on duty may be able to tell you more. Hello, Hanami. You see the captain? He passed a little while ago. I, uh, I wondered if I should tell someone. Not look well. I asked if it was the matter, and he told me the past had caught up with him. What? The past had caught up with him? Who on, RJ? Alpha and I shall hold the fort. You're allowed to go out, I'll say, if you want. Like... Don't let anyone hold you back. Right, let's go. All right. There you are. By the Kami! Your Lord Hian... Leave me. Leave me, I beg of you. Too late. There you are. Found you. Lady Yugiri. Lord Gosetsu. Forgive me uh, my abrupt disappearance. She... Worked in my... Establishment. Her father was a regular client of mine. When I first beheld her, I was struck by her beauty. And yet, behind her eyes there was an emptiness. Men flocked to drown themselves in that cold, bottomless gaze. The rest you know. She became an imperial informant and for her loyal service won the office of acting viceroy. It is said that the atrocities Yotsuyu committed were driven by vengeance. If so, I bear part of the blame for creating the monster she became. I see. Then I shall recommend that you be assigned to a new post. I am in your debt. While you were out searching for Jafua, we received word from our shinobi allies. An imperial airship has been sighted over Dome and Soil. Great. Great. Our visitor's objective remain unclear. It may be another attempt to recover Yotsuyu or a prelude invasion. What of me? Uh, the Empire may well be after Yotsuyu. You are to remain here and guard her until my return. As you wish. Pray stay close to RJ and Yugiri. Well, well. Guard duty. And not a breath of protest. Now I've seen it all. Let us find out what the Empire Empire's game is. Let's go it! Kien! Hello! I'm back. I remember here. This area is secure. Whatever our visitors' purpose, they plainly believe they can achieve it alone. I was quite at the top. A smoke signal? Oh. Thoughts, you giddy? 
In former times, such signals were used to announce the coming of an emissary of peace. In Doma, at least. But could that truly be their intent? Uh, I doubt it. Very much. That's who we're meeting. Oh, okay, there's people in it. People in it, all right. Um, you're young. Well, that we should be received by the Lord of Dorma himself. Very enthusiastic. And Yotsu's stepbrother. Uh, okay. It seems I need not introduce myself. I come not to sow strife, but to end it. Yeah, but how have you come to end it? To negotiate peace with Dorma. Really? For how long? 20 minutes? Well then, we have much to discuss. Right. I mean, this should be interesting. Storm on the horizon. Yeah, that's a bit ominous. It's a bit ominous. Do you ever trust a guy laying? Probably not. You could trust Sid, obviously. Trust him. Lord Hien is expecting you, may I show you in? You may. Very serious music. Okay. This is very dramatic so far. He's got a weird face. Never did I imagine that I would meet the gallant and noble Lord of Dorma himself, nor be welcomed into his magnificent hall. Uh -huh. You'll forgive me if we forgo the pleasantries. You say you are come to negotiate. Yeah, let's get to the point. Good job, Yen. I was not aware that the Emperor had recognized Dorma's sovereignty. His radiance has yet to do so, that much is true. No, however that he has expressed willingness to cede Dorma to her ancestral masters and treat with her as a friend. Right. Why do I not believe you? <laughs> of Emperor Solus, the Empire has aggressively expanded its territory. Yeah, you're telling me. On the matter of his lifelong goal, to rid the world of icons. Hmm. Oh, they cannot be suffered to exist wishes to explore the possibility of an alliance to combat this common threat. Getcha. On the condition that Dorma renounces summoning and pledges to police the Corjin's practice of it, his radiance would extend the hand of friendship. Dorma has never shown any appetite for summoning, and it should go without saying that we will address any threat to our people, Icon or otherwise. I must stress that they only resorted to summoning under extreme provocation yet even now there are certain parties who would destabilize the region with ill-conceived military forays unless they alter their course we cannot hope to be rid of icons damn well said quite i can but apologize it's not really good enough but if i may speak plain if the empire itself is not of one mind how can we be certain that any peace we negotiate will be honored? Exactly. In the name of building trust, I would like to make a proposal. Go on. A prisoner exchange. Right. Oh, God. I don't have a good feeling about this. Your proposal has merit, but I will need time to consider it. You shall be our honored guest. Oh, well, I'm not sure that's a good idea. Well, that was unexpected. You could say that again. I still don't know quite what to make of it all, but on the surface, a prisoner exchange does seem a good way to begin. The question is, can they be trusted? As it stands, we have no reason to doubt. Do you think this might all be a ruse to facilitate her retrieval? Yes. Though I cannot fathom why they would go to such lengths. Yet, so you may have been the acting viceroy, but she's not Garlean or even highborn. The value must presumably lie in what she knows. Indeed. Though it seems to me I have little choice but to accept regardless. So many of our brothers and sisters languishing in imperial camps. I cannot well, I cannot well turn my back on a chance to secure their reparation. Shit. Right. RJ, a moment if you would. Ah, oh, Yagiri and Asai. I merely wish to exchange a few words with the famed slayer of gods and champion of Eorzea. We may have stood on opposing sides in the past, but I see no contradiction in lauding the man who would do battle with our common enemy. And I will take his time to see the land I once called home. It is settled then. The four of us should make a brief excursion through Yansha. Right, we start at the town of Monzen. I would see what has become of Doma Castle. Very well, if you will follow me. And on we go. On we go. 
Go over chat. Alright, there we go. What are you doing? Nay, hey, can this trade be mourns in? Home to the cream of Dormus Samurai. The sooner we can begin to make amends for this senseless destruction, the better. Securing supplies and support from the reconstruction effort should not prove difficult once our nations are formally at peace, of course. What is happening here, then? It's a travesty. A travesty. I remember the keep being so beautiful. In the light of the setting sun, one would swear it was a flame. Oh, God. Someone's in trouble. Oh, no. Oh. Leave these say alone. Perfect timing, it seems. I, I don't know. We were returning from the enclave when they came at us. Weird. Let's get him. All right. Let's go for the captain. Come on, then. Let's get you down. You back off. Uh, go. Red dragon mode, whatever it's called. Big slice. You saved us again. If we are to end the cycle of conflict, the Empire must change from within. Oh, which one should I say? Not about that. True reform can only come from within. I think I'm going to go for the top one. Not about that. True reform can only come from within. I knew you would understand. Oh. You have witnessed such change firsthand, after all. During your time in Ishka. Oh, I suppose that's true, but I still don't trust you. Yet this regrettable little interlude did afford me a chance to see the famed hero they always are in action. A few Imperial soldiers can say that. A few who live to tell the tale. No, I can't fly. Whenever you can't fly on the ship, it always feels so slow for some reason. Alright, what is about to go down? I gather your time was well spent. Until the ambassadors for Jugeria chance to make a full report, however, I must rely on you to supply the details, so please tell us what unfolded. Yeah. Wasn't good. But tell me, don't be modest. Was Assay truly first to leap to the youngster's aid? He was. I was quick to doubt him when we first met, but his desire to save them seemed quite genuine. What did you make of the ambassador? Oh, God. He may well be an honourable man. I still don't think he can be trusted. Dot, dot, dot. I'm just going to say how I feel. I still don't think he can be trusted. You can't trust the Empire. Well, then the question of what his true intentions may be remains. Regardless of his aim, I resign to pay his playing his game for now at least. Well, I think we should do that too. But first, I have some unfinished business to attend to. Would you all come with me? That was aggressive. Yes, of course, but what manner of business? A past mistake which I would see put right. One which has weighed heavy on my mind. That's ominous. That's very ominous. <laughs> What is that? I had her brought here in secret while the three of you kept our guest company. Right. The world has not been kind to you, it is true. But that does not excuse your sins. You should be at the bottom of the river. Yet here you are, the living, breathing proof of my failure. A failure for which I would now make amends. Oh, no. You're not. I don't believe you are. What? What did I do? I don't remember. Was it really so terrible? Tell me, please. What did I do? You speak of sins, my lord. But at whose feet do those sins lie? Oh. With the soldiers who committed the crimes, or those who commanded them to do so? With both, I would say. For all have a conscience, mm -hmm. and all must choose. But with no memory of who she is, or what she has done, what sin remains to be cleansed? Get where you're coming from. I mean, I agree. You ask Fair. that I show mercy. I ask why the heavens saw fit to deny me my rest. Why Yotsuyu was spared not only death, but the bitter memories of her life. Hmm. 
You truly think it the will of the Kami? That wasn't everything. If so, her life is not mine to take. If her memories have not returned, she may remain here in Doma to live out her days as Tsuyu. But if they right. do, the Guardians shall have their Viceroy. Though the people will protest, they will come to accept my decision when they have been reunited with their loved ones. Fair enough. Thank you, my lord. Did Gosetsu not seem strange to you? He seems a bit weird, yeah. His sympathy for Yotsuyu. He and Yotsuyu are to enjoy a life of peace and quiet. He will have little use for it. Hopefully. With the Yotsuyu safe link at Sirius care, all that remains is to answer SI's proposal. Or unless other matters demand your attention, but I would ask you to stay a while longer to see this business through. Of course. My apologies. Our deliberations took longer than expected. Think nothing of it. The time afforded me the opportunity to go on a rather rousing excursion through Yansha. We are willing to cooperate with you in combating the Icon threat, and also in the exchange of prisoners. Assuming you accept our conditions, of course. As you know, your sister is in our care. Due to certain complications, however, we are hesitant to release her into your custody. Mm -hmm. Complications? She was inside Doma Castle when it collapsed. Though she survived, she remembers nothing of her past life. Are you saying you refuse to release her? Essentially. Not at all. If her memory returns before the appointed hour. And if not, what exactly? You will accommodate her here in Dorma? I sincerely doubt she will be of any great strategic value to the Empire. She spends her days daydreaming of Dango. Pretty true. Dango. Dango. How dreadful. Yeah. You know, I do have one small request. Regardless of Yotsuyu's value to the Empire, she is yet my sister. Before I leave, might you permit me to speak with her in private? Of course. Perhaps you could even bring her a plate of dango. She would be most pleased. <laughs> Don't know. I have a feeling something's going to happen. I'm sorry to have kept you waiting. Thank you for your understanding. Long did I dream of this reunion, but never did I imagine it would be so joyless. Part of me hoped your stories of her condition were just that. But, alas, it is as you say. Do you remember anything of this man? Anything at all? Uh, no. Now, if you would excuse me, my superiors are long overdue a report. They will be elated to hear our agreement that I have no doubt. I pray the Emperor would see things as you do. They may be hope for us all. So we meet again. I invite the rest of you to join me outside. Let's treat Asai to a proper farewell. My, let's see what let's see what Yen says. The master's airship awaits at Kestrum Plumini. Plumini, let us be off. This has been a most enjoyable visit. I look forward to our next meeting. Do you, Maxima? Would you take the others and see that all is ready for our departure? Go on, get out of here. Leave without first giving thanks to the Warrior of Light for accompanying me through Yansha. What? I suppose you're welcome. What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? Oh God. Mark me, savior of the savages. Oh my God. That is a scary face. What the fuck? Uh oh. I knew something was gonna go down. Dear. Ignorant savages! Killing us will avail you not! Be glad I grant you this mercy. Oh, what was that? Oh my god. Reinforcements? 
No, just one. Cut him down. Yeah, that's not gonna go well for you. This is where he gets his first katana, is it? Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, sir. This one is promising. <laughs> Surely you jest. That was Xenos Ye Galvas, Legatus of the Twelfth, the Crown Bloody Prince. I heard he was strong, but that. that was frightening. It was. That was. Lord Xenos. Mm hmm. Lord Xenos himself. Everything you are, your power, even your face, it vexes me. Yeah? What a bizarre thing to say. Go on. Lash out I knew you were a prick. You are at an emissary and jeopardize the newfound peace between Dorma and the Empire. I hope you get yours. I hope I give it to you. Oh, I knew it! My lord was destined to lead us unto a glorious new age. Your light is nothing to his radiance. I will cherish this moment. Lock it away within my heart. Until the day we as will I, you strange little man. How weird. Alright, I want to see what Hien has to say when I tell him what he said. I'm sure... Did they hear? You look troubled, my friend. Was it something he said? It was so bizarre. I knew it was all fake. The memories to witness it's about him, but I would never have guessed he was a disciple of Xenos. Just hope we might secure the return of our conscripted brothers and sisters. I must play this game. Now we have a chance to bring them home. If it means bargaining with a monster, so be it. My lord. Besides, I think he likes me. Which is more than some can say. I don't think he likes any of us. Oh. That was all weird. <laughs> Alright. It makes no sense. Why would he bother keeping up the pretense for so long? I need to drop it right before the very end. Indeed. Perhaps he has no longer thought it necessary having secured Dama's cooperation on the prisoner exchange. If he truly is a disciple of Xenos, it's possible emotions simply got the better of him. Remaining calm around that man who slew his sword, his lord will have taken its toll. The affairs of Domo to us, when the hour of exchange draws near, we will call for you. So what are you actually up to? Arranging the prisoner exchange proved easier than I thought. Yes, of course you're up to something. Yes, my lord would be most pleased. Everything is going according to plan. It won't. I promise you. Oh no. She remembers, doesn't she? truly remember nothing. Nothing at all. Were we... friends? <laughs> yes. We were good friends, you and I. In fact, I've brought you a gift. Oh no. What is that? I pray that one day soon as you gaze into that mirror, you will remember the woman staring back at you. Oh no. 
It's so pretty. Ooh. Meanwhile, in the Imperial capital. How are you feeling, my lord? Fine, now leave me. Oh my god. Zeno, Zeno, Zeno. I mean, obviously, I knew you came back because of the End War trailer, but um, is it weird to say that I'm I'm glad he's still there? Because not because I like him, but I just really enjoy his character. I usually don't like villains as people, but I do like interesting villain characters. Thanks for streaming. Oh no, worries, Asia Job. It's my my pleasure. So thank you all for coming. Thank you for tuning in, and I will see you in the next stream. Thank you, everyone. Have a good evening, and I will see you later. Goodbye.